I'm informed that the objective of this week's conference was to review effective mechanisms for responding to emerging crimes and transnational organized crimes across the African continent. Premised on a framework of shared learning, the theme invites all of us to reflect on the need for innovation in our strategies, interventions, as well as our respective operations. But more importantly, the theme also demands of us to rededicate ourselves to our global commitments to combat transnational organized crime and to do so collectively in a collaborative manner, but to also do so innovatively and in a manner that nonetheless always upholds our fundamental values. And so the key question we should ask ourselves is why nations should invest their efforts and resources in this endeavor. Available estimates by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime indicate that annually illicit revenues and proceeds of crime equal more than $2 trillion globally. Africa itself loses roughly $88.8 .8 billion in illegal financial flows each year, which is equivalent to 3.7% of our continent's GDP. In effect, our continent loses more wealth each year than it gains by at least $40 billion.